dark and depressing building. Even with the temple, we can't feel the presence of the Lord's light. I can't believe I stepped foot in this place. Where all have gone, and all must go, to be the nothing that I was. I have born to life and living woe. Lord Byron, no? I am not an admirer of his. In the first place, his poetry is unrefined. And who gave you the right to judge the refinement of poetry? Poetry should delve into the depths of the souls of the faithful. And others. It should inspire the soul as to Alexander Pope or George Herbert. If they have the power to do away with these evil spirits, I'd choose anyone. Even that dear old carpenter's son. Blasphemous! <laughs> Pagan! How dare you utter such words of sin? To seek help from someone you've never met before is ridiculous, especially when people are dying from hunger every single day in London. Oh, they're all filthy anymore, little beggars that deserve to die. Heaven is... That doesn't sound like a demonic spirit to me. The noise is coming from that building over there. The poison didn't kill us, so now they're taking the fast and easy way now. Don't be ridiculous! Why don't you ask the bullets who's being ridiculous? You idiots! Uh, I love when people are friendly towards one another like that. Don't you think so, Stan? Shut the hell up, Nico. You don't know shit. <laughs> uh, and we get attacked <laughs> by a monster. Open book monster attacks, of course. Now, uh, open doors. Open door monster attacks. Open book door monster attacks. Giant floating eyes with crystals around. Is this the Grand Jewel? Mm, I don't think so. Oh. Any case, uh, the main thing about uh, this boss fight, just as before, you want to buff your, uh, you want to buff your uh, Edward, uh, in order to become the most powerful force in the universe. Um, you also want to get, uh, get him a little bit, a little bit of pie in this fight, mostly because the red guy uh, is capable of. Um, the red guy is capable of uh, using an attack that hits everyone, and it hurts. Even uh, even the casters are gonna get hurt by it. And uh, Edward, if he doesn't get a lot of pie, he's going to die. Uh, in any case, I here I am equipped with a um, the hammer on uh, on Edward, and that is a mistake because those things rip, uh, actually get healed by hammers. Whoops. But yeah, that's and y you see that's here you you're gonna see one of the issues with this game. Loading. Loading. <laughs> there we Loading. go. Loading. So now, yep, that that. And now wait. And now a loading again. And from his perspective, we're gonna be able to see everything appearing. Eventually. Yeah, the red guy is um, pretty annoying. Like, well. They all share a couple spells, and uh, they all also have uh, unique ones. Or, as far as far as I know, they have uh, they have unique ones that others can u can't use. Uh, they all possess an attack that will cause silence. Uh, they all can uh, restore each other's MP, and uh, they can also just use a uh, an attacking spell. Just like this one. Um, but yeah, your casters are... N uh, the only thing that's really annoying is when your caster gets silenced, like Kodelka did here. She has really terrible luck, to, uh, luck with it, as you'll see fr uh, throughout. What is lucky and, do? Well, silence, I cannot, uh, I cannot cast spells. And so I decided to not wait uh, like stupid and actually attack them. And I discovered an additional effect on my 
on the uh, knife I had equipped. Which is poison. That should come in handy. Hmm. Eventually, until it breaks. In any case, the best one to uh, the Can't best one to attack. It. Yes, that's what <laughs> I learned. The best way to go about uh, killing those monsters is uh, to start with the blue one because he has the least HP. Then proceed with uh, the red one because he's the most dangerous. And uh, then the green one because he's going to keep on healing and uh, you know. But he can heal only himself, as far as I know. Uh, but uh, by himself, I don't think he has anything too dangerous. But the order in which you're, go uh, you're going to be fighting them is going to be pretty much predetermined by uh, however they uh, align themselves. Uh, because... Um, and uh, one mechanic that I didn't get to uh, I didn't get to uh, describe as of yet is that uh, you can only get as far as the first uh, as the furthest enemy uh, on your opponent's team. So, for example, as you see here, because the green guy is be uh, is in front of the blue guy, I cannot get past him. Ah. And now they're both poisoned. Poison sadly does not do too much in this game. Oh, it's not percentage based. No, no, no. It is percentage based, but it's really low percentage based. Oh, that's sad. Mm. <laughs> I like how he changes stance with a knife. Yeah, they all have... Uh, every single character has a different uh, stance for every type of weapon. That's cool. Yes, uh, for as, like, detail-wise, this game is pretty damn neat. Uh, however, optimization-wise, that's a little bit iffy. Uh, here, enemy, uh, the enemy is using a, um, when you can say, a, sort of a strategy against uh, getting knocked back. If there are two, uh, if there are two people uh, right next to, uh, right after one another, you cannot get knocked back. So, for example, here, now Edward will not be knocked back uh, by anyone because he's standing... Uh, he's be uh, because Kodelka is standing behind him. Yeah. I also love how uh, some, uh, some parts of the soundtrack uh, actually uh, mute out whenever you get hit. I just choose to believe this, is, this wasn't intentional. And it's just the poor PS1 having trouble with running this poorly optimized mess. Entirely possible. But it creates a, a cool dramatic effect. Right. Yeah, in any case, uh, you want, uh, as I stated in one of the earlier uh, fights, uh, even when you, d uh, when you don't... Mm, there is never, uh, there is never an end in how you can improve your character's attack. That's kind, of, uh, that's what's the most beautifully broken about uh, this battle system. Uh, there isn't any uh, any sort of thing like in, uh, let's say, Pokemon, where uh, you can only get, uh, well, only, uh, you can only get six um, uh, stats ups per each stat or six uh, six stats down. Here, there is no end to that. Uh, you ba it basically works like leveling up, but only for a fight. And in fact, you can even go into your. Uh, in fact, you can even go into your menu. Uh, well, um, you have the status uh, status tab, uh, and you can even check uh, how many uh, stat boosts you have equipped on you. It's a it's a neat uh, little thing to keep track of that because uh, you can easily get lost by a certain point. I would imagine. Um, it is very important to uh, it is very important to use the stats up because uh, they're absolutely necessary for defeating certain um, certain special boss at the very end. 
it's a it, it's of course an, it, well it is an optional boss and uh, yeah you can get through the entire game uh, without fighting him but he gives you the most badass sword in the game so why wouldn't you want to fight him because you're wasting items Who uses well, items in RPGs? Jeez. Hmm. Sorry, I can't help it. <laughs> Don't you know you're supposed to be doing an Edward solo? Come on now. Hmm. It's um. Uh, uh, also, he here I think I uh, Edward didn't do quite as much, uh, quite as much damage, or eventually stops doing quite as much more damage as he should so I just switched to increasing his uh, uh, his dexterity instead of his strength mm. dexterity, uh, dexterity overall doesn't give you that much of an edge in this fight uh, other than uh, lowering the filter for your uh, strength because none of those uh, none of those enemies will ever use any physical moves. Hmm. Yeah, they don't. Uh, they really don't have any uh, physical attacks, and uh, that wasn't. Uh, thankfully, the red guy did not use that uh, that move that I was so afraid that he were uh, he was going to use. However, there is never uh, there, there is never really waste in using too much magic, because all of that goes into your uh, uh, level up with it, and magic replenishes uh, per each level up. So. Huh. Well, and eventually helpful. that uh, eventually the telesis um, and uh, high telesis uh, get uh, much more frequent so uh, magic is your way to go this is why uh, this is the main reason why I choose to have both uh, both Kadelka and James be uh, magic casters because right. it's just so much more useful that uh, well uh, well weapons are very important and very useful but the, the main problem is they break. And they're limited. Yeah. Well, they're not exactly limited, but you get them from drops, and uh, that's all. Uh, that's never reliable. You also have to know which enemies do drop uh, do drop them. So, uh, yeah, couple uh, couple that with everything. The other possible uh, setup is to make James your um, a gun user with uh, high, uh, with a lot of pie and uh, high attack and dexterity. However, I never found guns to be particularly useful because, uh, yeah, a physical attacker up, up front can use them just as well. And you're, uh, and until you get some of the later game ones, and here the game almost froze. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I noticed. I was like, I thought my video would stop for a second. I was like, what? No, no, no. <laughs> it's it actually happened, and w when I was uh, when I uh, when I had seen that, I was like, no, 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 no. But I, don't know, I say your way is more fitting for James. I mean, what else would you expect a Korshi man to do? Hmm. Yeah, well, I've I've seen that setup online, but yeah, again, I just I just don't find it that uh, that advantageous. Uh, though I do by by the end of the game get quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of uh, bullets and uh, guns that I never use. <laughs> Uh, actually, in one of the uh, one of the next parts, I try to use. Oh, here you can see him restoring his MP. Mm -hmm. However, I've never even seen enemies actually run out of MP. Like, because they keep restoring it. Yeah, it's really it's really weird because I never noticed any other uh, any other enemy being like. Uh, he will stop using spells after a certain point. But also I cannot check their stats in any way. There isn't any sort of glossary or be uh, bestiary or anything. Mm. Which is a shame because I would have loved to have uh, some sort of a um, 
you know, like collectible that will that would unlock with uh, like getting every uh, every time I encounter a new monster, I can look at them, uh, read about them, their names and uh, yeah. stories and stuff like that. Like, what do you even call these things? Uh, um, I don't know. Let's <laughs> see. They're just um, eyes. I... I statue with atomic rocks? I guess so. I mean, some of the other ones uh, get uh, a much funner names, like... Uh, uh, a corpse stabbed with glass shards walking with a uh, arm in its hand. Yeah. Or a free-faced man walking on the ceiling with a gun. He's my favorite. Always the classic. <laughs> yes. He might as well be the mascot of this game. He should be. <laughs> like, Pokemon has Pikachu, and this this has free-faced men walking on the ceiling with a gun. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, and also, as you've seen, I uh, I am I started increasing uh, uh, Kadelka's uh, intelligence. Just because I decided that uh, Ed, uh, that uh, James is going to be responsible for increasing the magical stats, and so I want to get eventually started on it to right. actually get somewhere. Um, that's basically how I divide all of the magical spells. Uh, I uh, I give uh, Kadelka increased uh, strength, vitality, and dexterity. Edward ge uh, Edward gets uh, increased ag uh, agility. And uh, uh, and uh, James gets uh, increased intelligence, pie, and mind. But mind you, rarely ever need to be honest. Yeah. And when it comes to attacking spells, uh, Kadelka ge uh, Kadelka gets to use flare, and he gets to uh, gets to use gazer. There are two other ones, um, tornado by uh, for example, which we got here. And uh, yeah, here I'm gonna equip. Uh, here I'm going to equip uh, them with uh, James with a ring I got to make his uh, intelligence worth a while. Mm -hmm. uh, in the following area, you actually want to uh, stay uh, stay for a little bit and grind for uh, rings because there is a certain enemy uh, that is going to drop those. Uh, I will. Uh, I am. I do get lucky, and I do. Uh, and I don't actually have to uh, grind. I just find. Uh, f uh, I just. I just do find free uh, rings uh, from the encounters, and nice. I equip. Uh, I'm just saying it now because uh, I think uh, I'm. I do remove most. Uh, most of the. Uh, most of the menu screens because. Uh, it makes uh, makes most of the episodes easier, and here I got an, a random encounter just by stepping a little bit forwards against one of the enemies that I skipped before because that the encounter wasn't going anywhere. Um, knives. Yes, they can paralyze you, and they are weak towards uh, knives for some reason. <laughs> okay. As you see here. And here is the corpse with glass uh, backwards legs with a hand in its arm, with an arm in its hand. Hi there, Applicable. So, okay, you've got a spell for uh, fire, water, and wind. Do you get an earth one? Yes. And uh, that one will go to, that one will go to James also. Basically how I organize it with, uh, to make it easier on, on with remembering for me, uh -huh. um, all of the uh, all of the odd attacking spells go to Kadelka, and all of the even attacking spells go to James. Well, there you go. Because if you organize it in any other way, you're just never going to uh, level them up. You shouldn't even hope to level them up to level 3 even by the end of the game, but uh, getting them to level 2 is very helpful because then they get a, a very useful additional effect, which is if there are enemies standing next to one another, 
the spell is gonna go like for example here knight and uh, uh, glass sharded uh, corpse with a, uh, with an arm in its hand is uh, are standing together and so if I uh, hit them with a second uh, with a second level spell uh, they would both get hit by it hmm. What is really weird, you can actually even use uh, items and uh, healing magic on your enemies. Yeah, I noticed that. I was like, why would you ever want to? Um, I actually discovered that some of the uh, some of the enemies... Well, completely by accident I discovered that, but uh, some of the enemies actually get damaged by heals. Why? One particular one, I remember it was, I think, a kitty lady, but I don't, um, I don't remember which one. Because while the enemies uh, enemies reappear, they uh, they do become stronger depending on the area, which is makes it a little bit hard to tell which ones are actually uh, are actually a threat or not. You just yeah. uh, you just assume the further you get, the more uh, dangerous the enemies get. Mm -hmm. Loading. There we go. <laughs> yeah. It gets pretty ridiculous with some of the more detailed bosses. <laughs> like literally, is that like, is the thing. Is it like enslaved Odyssey to the West? No, no, no. Nothing can be enslaved Odyssey to the West. Loading textures and frame rate issues. Oh, okay. I mean, honestly, almost no PS1 games can ever get such texture issues like most PS3 games have. Yeah. And uh, something that's uh, worth noting that I uh, never actually noticed before: um, during each uh, during each random encounter, you will hear um, like additional sound effects that don't appear on the actual soundtrack of the game. Um, those are actually monster cries. Like you will huh. you'll, uh, you'll hear random uh, some random instrument sounding thing from time to time that do not m really match with the music. Those are actually uh, the sounds of monsters and they uh, they actually change depending on uh, who you're fighting against. Huh. I never actually noticed it uh, beforehand because uh, I was... Uh, uh, I was playing this on the PSP and I didn't... Uh, I didn't always have uh, headphones on. Right. Punch him. Punch. <laughs> because Edward cannot move, and I do not have heals for that. I just have to wait until he heals by himself. Can't move a muscle. It's pretty annoying because I'm sensing a level up, but at the same time I don't want to... Uh, I didn't want to use a talus, but in the end I do have to, in order to be able to do something. It's really right. silly how they give you uh, a resurrection spell. I, b I believe I either already have it, uh, or I'm gonna get it very soon, like within the next, uh, next boss fight or two boss fights. Uh-huh. They give you a resurrection spell, but they don't give you a, 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 a cure status uh, thing. Well, it is survival horror. True, and well, quite quite honestly, the revival spell uh, came in quite in handy, especially against uh, the free face man walking on the ceiling with the gun. <laughs> the best time to use it. Exactly, because he basically one shots Kadelka. Ouch. Yeah, he's the only enemy that can that can reach your casters with physical attacks against which they cannot do shit. And here we're going to part ways. Bye bye.